Good morning, buongiorno. Welcome to this live event hosted by the United States Embassy in Italy. My name is Angela Cervetti. I am the spokesperson at the Embassy and your moderator today. Thank you for joining us today in the launch of an initiative that is part of a larger and ongoing US assistance to Italy to fight COVID-19. And to learn more about that, and without further ado, it is my honor to introduce the United States Ambassador to Italy, Louis M. Eisenberg. Ambassador. Thank you, Angela. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you all and say how honored I am that we are able to gather today, even if only virtually. I hope to be able to welcome you all in person one day soon. I'd like to introduce our honored guest, Naomi Dano Schroeder, Senior Advisor at USAID Invest, Robert Miskliff, Founder and CEO of PEDAL, P-E-D-A-L, Consulting Andrea Catino, Partner at DEM Consulting, Alan Beard, Managing Director at Interlink Capital Strategies, and Giovanni Racucci, Founding Partner and Chairman of Rancucci and Partners. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on this important occasion, and thank you for your participation in this critical initiative. Our purpose today is to celebrate the long-standing partnership between the United States and Italy by launching a program designed to further integrate our sectors through U.S. government grants to Italian, American, and international companies. All of our guests represent companies that are working to fight the COVID-19 pandemic in Italy. Italy and the United States are having a difficult time, but they have a long shared history and deeply entwined economies and societies and have worked together many times before. Since World War II, we have been close and constant allies who share the same values of democracy and free enterprise. When the COVID-19 pandemic first broke out in Italy, the United States moved quickly to support our friend and partner with a broad range of resources. To date, the United States has provided $60 million in assistance to Italy through the U.S. military and the Agency for International Development, USAID. In the early days of the outbreak, the U.S. military donated excess equipment to hospitals throughout the country and assisted the Italian military in transporting supplies and equipment needed to battle the pandemic. U.S. military continues to provide millions of dollars of personal protective equipment to the Italian healthcare sector. Through U.S. aid, the United States is providing $10 million in durable medical equipment, including ventilators to Italian hospitals. The United States has also given $30 million to non-governmental organizations operating in Italy, including the Italian Red Cross, the Rotary Club, the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, ABSI, CUAMM, and other, and of course, the reason that we're here today through USAID's INVEST program, the U.S. is providing a total of $10 million in grants to the Italian, American, and international firms with us today. These grants will allow each of the recipients to bring its unique skills to the fight against COVID-19. Some of you will use the grants as seed capital to attract additional private capital that will be invested in Italian companies that are producing medical equipment, therapeutics, vaccines, and supplies. Other grant recipients will use the funds to provide technical assistance to Italian companies that are expanding or converting their operations to produce personal protective equipment and the other supplies necessary for Italy to fight the pandemic. Italy was the epicenter of the first outbreak of COVID in Europe. Through much pain, suffering, and sacrifice, the Italian people endured hardships and encouraged remarkable personal discipline to bring this outbreak under control. Another wave has hit Italy and all of Europe. I believe the Italian people will face the pandemic this time with the same resilience and fortitude with which it managed the first wave. The U.S. stands with our Italian friends, and we are pleased to provide assistance to help you in this fight. I look forward to hearing from each of you about the work that you will do to help Italy achieve its goal of protecting its citizens and contributing to international efforts to face this unique 
and terrible global challenge. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you for your words. And now I would like to give the word to Ms. Noemi Danau Schroeder, Senior Advisor at USAID Invest. Noemi. Thank you. Honorable Ambassador Eisenberg, representatives of the United States Embassy in Italy, members of the press, invest partners, and friends in Italy. In the spring of this year, when Italy was facing the peak of the pandemic, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, reached out to invest a global initiative to mobilize private investment for development objectives. Invest was asked to design and implement a program to support businesses engaged in the research, development, or manufacture of medical supplies needed to respond to COVID-19. This activity is one element of USAID's broader $50 million commitment to help save lives in Italy and to build economic resilience for the future. With this $10 million in USAID support, Invest is working with four partners to mobilize an additional $30 million in capital and to provide technical assistance to 55 Italian companies who are ramping up or retooling their processes to increase local manufacturing of personal protective equipment, therapeutics, tests, and other medical supplies needed for COVID response. Many of these beneficiary companies are small and medium businesses located in areas of Italy that were most affected by the pandemic. Finding the right partners for this work, especially during the middle of a global pandemic, was no small feat. But find the right partners we did. Not only do they bring the professional expertise, fresh ideas, and top-notch consortiums, they also bring a very deep and personal commitment to combating COVID-19 in Italy and to contributing to the economic growth and stability of the country by harnessing the power of the private sector. Federal Consulting, led by CEO Robert Meskov, is leading a consortium to raise $10 million in investment funding and to provide technical assistance to 10 companies. DEM Consulting, represented by partner Andrea Catino, is assisting five manufacturing companies in the Campania region convert their production to PPE in order to meet 12% of local monthly need. Interlink Capital Strategies, represented by Managing Director Alan Beard, is designing and establishing a fund which will leverage an additional 20 million in capital for investment in Italian companies. And the Roncucci and Partners, led by founding partner and chairman Giovanni Roncucci, will provide technical assistance to 25 companies to help increase production capacity and attract private investment. On behalf of DAI, the USAID implementing partner for Invest, I'm pleased and honored to support this important private sector-led effort to fight the pandemic and contribute to strengthening the Italian medical manufacturing sector. And with this, I ask our four partners to speak of their fundamental role in making these goals a reality. Thank you. Thank you, Noemi. We really appreciate your words. And now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Robert Miskov, founder and CEO of Pedal Consulting. Dear His Excellency Ambassador, dear all, I'm uh, Robert Miskov, CEO of Pedal Consulting, and uh, we are a leader of the unique signature project funded through USAID's Invest Initiative. We are a management consultancy company focusing primarily on the provision of uh, business and uh, innovation support services to SMEs, startups, and also public authorities. Currently, we're managing uh, the portfolio of projects with the combined value of over $40 million. We are currently proud to lead a multidisciplinary team of EU and Italian leading players. Our consortium includes um, the Advisors, which is a global strategic advisory consultancy group specialized in uh, internationalization, innovation, development, and cooperation. We also have uh, with us FBA, which is an Italian SME specialized in, in communication. IFI, the Italian Private Equity Venture Capital Association. IBAN, Italian Business Angel Leading Network. We also have Innovap, which is the Italian Startup Association. And our expert in medical sectors are University Campus Biomedical di Roma and CNR, which is the largest research institute in Italy. So what are our unique selling proposition? We will mobilize investors to fund Italian companies. The objective is to increase their capacities in fighting COVID-19 
and we will assist them to become more competitive internationally. Hopefully, uh, this will deliver more products and solutions, which are so much needed nowadays, to Italy and to the Italian people to overcome COVID-19. We will act as one-stop shop for both components, the catalytic funding and the uh, technical assistance package, so that companies will benefit from a powerful and integrated support from the very beginning. In this project, we're deploying our operational knowledge, which carefully captures both policy and market realities. Our, our actions are based on adaptive and integrated methodology in order to ensure impact and sustainability. Our model is unique, offering also further scalability and replicability. Yeah. Practically speaking, our goal is to first establish the catalytic fund, mobilize as investors and raise $10 million. We will provide support financially and through the technical assistance provision to 10 selected uh, Italian companies, out of which uh, five are ramping up the production, three are retooling, and two uh, will be bringing new innovations to the market. We are all really excited to work on this great challenge of uh, our lifetimes and are honored to operationalize the cooperation between the American and the Italian people. Thank you, grazie. Thank you, Robert, we appreciate that. And now I would like to give the word to Mr. Andrea Catino, partner at DEM Consulting. Andrea? Good morning to all of you. Uh, DEM Consulting is a management and manufacturing consulting company based in Campania, Salerno. To reach the purpose of the technical assistant project, DEM Consulting is working in a consortium with the other two companies, Restag, which is a procurement specialist company, and PSL Logistics, which is a logistics specialized company. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has badly affected the poor and the de less developed areas of the country. So the scope of the technical assistance project is to support five selected companies in Southern Italy helping them convert the standard production lines to increase mask manufacturing. Then consulting will do this through the design and implementation of a standard conversion model, which is divided in modules that will cover all phases, including business planning, supply chain design, procurement, and production assistance. The model developed has been drawn by combining two dimensions involved in the repurposing process. The modules and the project items. The five modules which have been identified are review existing solutions, define requirements, design product and supply chain, develop product, and then ramp up the production. Each module will cover activities for the following project items. Finish the products, raw materials and components, labor, production processes and equipments, of course, production site and environment. Uh, so this project is already started and will um, on last July and uh, will be completed in one year. The modules are applied to each selected company according to their actual reproposing stage. So the project has two aims. One is of course to increase the local production of PPE. And the second one is to support the companies to diversify their business operation in response to the losses generated by the pandemic. Thank you to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Andrea, for, for that intervention. And now I would like to give the word to Mr. Alan Beard, Managing Director at Interlink Capital Strategies. Alan. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for the opportunity. Um, Interlink Capital Strategies is a 30-year-old financial advisory firm and consulting firm. We also manage three private equity funds. And because of this expertise, we are hoping to bring a financing platform that can quickly mobilize capital in Italy for small businesses who are trying to help in the COVID-19 uh, initiative. 
Interlink is uh, subcontracting to three Italian companies led by Morris Alticampi. And our focus will be to provide $1.4 million of catalytic capital that we expect to leverage up and seek an additional 15 to $20 million of capital to overall uh, invest in somewhere between 15 to 25 companies. The uh, type of uh, capital that we hope to mobilize in addition to the USAID funding will consist of, of grants, uh, debt financing, uh, equity, as well as uh, we intend to work with uh, institutions for offtake opportunities, which will, con which, which will also allow the mobilization of additional capital. We are doing this uh, through both informal outreach as well as we have two formal calls for proposal. Uh, the first one started October the 29th and expects to close December the 11th. We have a website that we will provide through the, the press release that companies can uh, go onto the website, fill out uh, uh, standard financial information, and we will then rank those companies. And through a, a transparent and an open process, we will award uh, grants to companies to help them facilitate the financing of their expansion or conversion for COVID-19 purposes. The expectation is that once we go through the first call, uh, sometime in the first quarter of 2021, we will uh, begin dispersing funds so that we can help in this urgent uh, requirement. Uh, the second call for proposal is currently uh, planned for starting in March, and, uh, and that will go a month, and we expect to uh, complete the whole process by the end of the year. Um, we're uh, excited to be part of this initiative. We understand the urgency and the importance of supporting small companies as they mobilize in, in helping Italy through this difficult period of time. And uh, we very much appreciate being part of the team. Thank you. Should I repeat? Very well. OK. And thank you for that. And now I would like to give the word to uh, Mr. Giovanni Roncucci, the founding partner and chairman of Roncucci and Partners. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Honored Ambassador Eisenberg, dear guests and colleagues, Roncucci Partners is a business consulting company with the headquarters in Bologna, in the Emilia Romagna regions, an office in Milano, and several offices abroad, including Serbia, India, Tunisia, South Africa, and Brazil. Kuchin Partners is specialized in planning and implementing business development paths for companies, and its mission is to contribute to improving the competitiveness of the clients, supporting them in strategies implementation and in business models definition which can effectively increase their value in the mid-long run in Italy and abroad. Through the INVEST initiative, the Roncucci and Partners will support 25 Italian companies actively involved in fighting the pandemic. These 25 Italian companies have been selected from a database of more than 400 Italian private firms that have adopted, converted, or scaled up their production to respond to the pandemic. I would add that the, the database creation builds on a recent collaboration with the Milan Romagna Regional Authority, which commissioned us the evaluation and selection of personal protective equipment and medical equipment suppliers creating a dedicated database of Italian firms active in COVID-19 response during the first lockdown in Italy last spring. At that time, the database included around 200 companies, now extended to more than 400. We do not forget that in Italy we have around 4.5 million companies. Out of them, 95.8 are micro enterprises with less than 10 workers. In this framework, it is crucial to work 
to strengthen the management structure on one side and the financial structures on the other side. Through the INVEST initiative, both the issues are objectives of the assistance, and this is a great chance for the selected companies to increase their competitiveness. This work will focus on the regions that, that were most affected by the pandemic, Lombardy, Emilia-Romagna and Veneto, as well as less developed regions in the south, Campania, Puglia, Sicily and Calabria. In last October, out of the 400 Italian companies, Roncucci and Partners uh, was able to select the 25 companies considered most suitable for this project after a deep evaluation process made of calls, online meetings, and questionnaires submitted out online to the companies. For these 25 selected companies, Roncucci and Partners will develop individual technical assistance plans after the first assessment. For each company, Roncucci and Partners will define the goals to be achieved, the actions to be implemented, and the areas of improvement, considering production, including supply chain, innovation and innovation management within the companies, organizational structure, legal issues, commercial topics, including the distribution system, and finally, financial issues. The technical assistance to the 25 companies with last throughout 2021 for a total period of around 11 months with the deployment of four dedicated teams plus the involvement of experienced senior experts in specific fields. The final aims are to strengthen the competitiveness of the selected companies and their ability to face future emergency and shocks like the one we are facing now in Italy and to strengthen their position to be subject of investments with the possibility to receive catalytic capital that is additional financial support by American and foreign investors. I would add that we are honored and glad to be part of an invest initiative and to work with USAID. On behalf of my team, I would underline our commitment and strong involvement in this project that give us the possibility to do something useful for our country and for our people. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador Eisenberg, and to all of you, and grazie. And thank you, Giovanni, for those words. And thank you, uh, Ambassador, for being here today. And thank you, all the participants who were here. Uh, uh, thank you for being here, and also for the important work that you do and that you will be doing uh, through this project. And I also would like to uh, wrap this up by thanking everybody who could join us through our many platforms and also to let you know that this will be available in the embassy platforms for you to watch later uh, if you want to see it again or to send to people uh, that may be interested in this important initiative. Uh, this is again uh, something that we'll be working on with Italy and is part of a significant and robust Assistant, assistance package that the United States is providing to Italy to together fight uh, this terrible pandemic. Uh, this concludes the event. We thank you again and hope to see you soon.